So they have a tie on their uh, roster. And actually, I believe, yep, they tied Bishop Brady 1-1. And the ball's in Kearsarge's possession. That throw in by Bo went out. Thrown in again by Kearsarge. Kearsarge controlling the ball. A little contact, no call. Well, actually a late call there. <laughs> Maybe he was going to see if Kearsarge retained possession. So indirect kick coming from about the 25-yard line. Kearsarge with probably their best offensive opportunity here early on in this first half. We'll see if maybe it's a, a soft chip to the back post or maybe she's just going to take a straight shot at it. And Allie Klein will take this kick. Whistle sounds. Bo, little mini wall there. Looks like she's going to lift it up to the corner and in. So, oh, the whistle blows, though. And I think it's because one of the Kearsarge players maybe moved a little bit too soon, but that is unfortunate as a well-placed ball Perfectly. by Allie Klein, and certainly the goalkeeper going to be ready for that. Let's see if she can maybe duplicate that. If she does, I believe it should be two goals. Just saying. That would be nice. Going to be hard to do that again. What is going on here? Some kids behind the field. Referee's backing them off. Try number two is good. Oh, and she got it again. So, you know, I think it should be worth more than one goal. Unfortunately, I don't write the soccer record or rule books in the NHAA. And with the seeing, foliage, I mean, it's peak foliage. Just week, seeing I snow, here. though, and hearing that somebody heard snow is a little bit depressing. It is. And Over that, the back, no call there. A little push off, too, is they got to call that. Incidental contact at first, perhaps, but maybe the push off. It's kind of hard to defend that. That was just an accident there. Number 10, Allie Klein. Well, she, she's got it from what, 25 yards? We'll see if she can do this it. This is around 37 yards, so you never know. Kearsarge up by one, would love to extend this lead as much as they possibly can. Now the cross in. Chip up towards the back of the net. Ball in front. This has got a chance. Good job. Now. The question is whether that ball was in and number 10, is it number 10? She, number 13, helped it in or whether she actually, uh, actually Nicole Page, we'll give the goal to, to Nicole, it was last on her foot, but again, a nice ball in there by Klein. Flicks right on to Chrissy Wolf, I believe. Klein's gonna turn, shoot. She has been aggressive offensively this yep. game. A little off-balance shot there, but again, just get the ball on the net. Fan of the sport. Yeah. Love playing with my dad. Yeah. Federer or? I am a huge Roger Federer. All right, but so I'm also I won't even say the last name. Oh, no, OK, all right. I love them both. Definitely don't. two different styles. Yeah. yeah. Well, them. you don't meet too many people. Either it's I love Roger Federer and I hate Rafa Nadal, or I love Nadal and I, I don't like both. Federer so much. All right, good. Then you're just a fan of talent because both of those guys are pretty talented. Klein with another kick. Oh. Goalkeeper for Bo, able to line that one up nicely. Off her foot, looked like maybe it was heading for the far post. But uh, certainly if I was Coach Geary, I'd keep Klein on those kicks. But she's got a pretty good foot and some pretty good aim. Defense, we were always taught, you know, play the way you face. Yep. You don't have to make it harder than it is. It's a good job by Chrissy Wolf. Klein sending it in. Looks like that is Chrissy Wolf, number five. She'll take a shot on goal, but it will go a little to the right. <laughs> Jablowski getting in there. Allie Klein taking over. Great play back to Angie Waring. Angie Waring will kick it up. Oh, beautiful set of passes there by Kearsarge. Laughing House sending it in. Now the ball towards the center of the field. Klein couldn't quite get it. Prohl sending it in. Oh, just not in time as Pickett's. There literally is like 20 or 30 people just camping out for a chance to take it then to go. Midnight Man. So it's actually a cool little event. It is. I went to all the ones when I was in, in college. I went to all the Midnight Madnesses that uh, they had. It's kind of a unique atmosphere. Definitely. Gets you excited for the season. Yeah. Players love it. Under two minutes here, Bo with the ball. Kearsarge has got to be careful. We